Hello everyone, this video walks you through an advanced level harmonic analysis problem. So, first of all, it's important to note that we're in G minor, so that's what the key signature suggests, and um, we end and begin on a G minor chord. Um, so, our first chord includes a G, D, and a B flat, so that's a G minor chord. Since G is in the bass, that means it's a, one, it's a minor one that's in your position. Then we have an A, F sharp, D, and an A. Well, that means it's a D major chord. So then since D is the fifth scale degree in G minor, that means it's some kind of a five. Um, and since the fifth is in the bass, that means it's a five, six, four. Um, then we have a B flat, G, a D, and a B, uh, G, excuse me, B flat, G, D, and G. Now that means that it's a G minor chord. And since the B flat is in the bass, that means it's in first inversion, so it's a one, six. Then we have a C, an A, a D, and an F sharp, so that means that it's a D dominant 7. Since D is the 5th scale degree, it's going to be a 5, 7. However, in order to figure out the inversion, uh, we see that C is in the bass, and since C is the 7th of the chord, that means that the 7th is in the bass, so then it's a 5, 2. Next we have a B flat, G, D, and G. And then that means, uh, since these are all passing tones, we can ignore these, that means that we have a... Mm, we have another kind of one chord since the G minor chord, and since B flat is in the bass, that means the third is in the bass, which means it's a one six. Then we come across a D, G, G, and B flat. So that means that is another G minor chord. Um, and since the fifth is in the bass, it's a one six four. And then we come across an A, A, a G, and a C sharp. Alright, now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. This is where we run into secondary dominance. Since um, this C is being raised a half step, it's acting as the new leading tone. So that means that it's the third of the chord. So that means that the bass is an A. So we're running into what looks to be an A dominant 7. Now an A dominant 7 is something that's normally characteristic of some kind of a 5 chord. So that means it's a 5 of something. Um, now, if we think about what's a fifth below A, we realize it's D, which is the fifth scale degree. So that means that this is a 5, 7 of 5. Um, then our next chord is has a D, A, and F sharp, which carries over from over here, and a D. So that means that it's a D major chord, so that means that it's another 5, since the root is in the bass, it's in root position. Then we have a C, C, G, and an E flat. So that means that we're dealing with a C minor chord, which, um, since C is the fourth scale degree in G, that means that we're dealing with a four chord. Um, and since C is in the bass, it's in the position. Now we have an E flat, C, G, and a D. However, it looks like this is really an accented passing tone. So then this is going to be the actual chord tone. So it's C, G, C, E flat. So that's another four chord, except the third is in the bass now, so it's a four, six. Then we come across a D, B flat, G, and D. And that means it's a G minor chord. Since the fifth is in the bass, that means it's a 1, 6, 4. Then we come across a G, B flat, G, and a C. Now again, it's looking like the C is going to be an accented passing tone. So I'm going to say that this B flat is the actual chord tone. So it's B flat, G, B flat, G. Um, not the best doubling, but, you know, that's what it is. Now we have, that means that it's a G minor chord, root in the bass, it's a 1. Then we have C sharp A, E natural A. Um, now, again, we're running into an A major chord. Um, since an A major chord is going to be acting as a 5, since this um, is leading to another chord, this becomes the new leading tone since it's being raised. Um, Again, we think, what's a fifth below A? And that turns out to be D, which is the fifth scale degree, so it's a five of five. And then we come across a D, A, F sharp, and A. And that's a five chord. And then that's just an octave displacement. And then we come across a G, B flat, D, and G. So that means that's another G minor chord with the G in the bass, or the root in the bass, so it's a one. And so there you have it. So, why don't we hear what this sounds like? Cool. 
So that's an, an advanced harmonic analysis problem. See you guys later.